Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Robert Paul, Magician. With me today is my wife, Cheryl. And we're going to do a car effect, which basically is called the car trick that fooled Harry Houdini's wife, Bess. The year was 1898. They were with the Welsh Brothers Circus. And one day, a gentleman, well-dressed well gentleman, walked into the circus and went to someone asking where Harry and Bess was. And once he found both of them, he said, do either one of you want to see a card trick? And Bess right away said, yes, show me, I want to see. So they found it, an empty table, grasped the chairs, Harry sat off to the side, Bess sat over here, and the gentleman who at this point in time, we do not know who he was, but he was mysterious. So he took out a deck of cards, and he proceeded to uh, shuffle the cards in front of Bess. And Harry looked on, and Bess pushed some of the cards in with him. You want to? Thank you, Bess. Right now, we're going to proceed. I think we need a couple. We're going to take out the jokers, okay? The jokers we do not need. So he took the jokers out like so. And at this point, he redirected everything to Bess. I want you to cut a third of the deck off and place it here. Another third off and place it here. All right, this is the top of the deck, this is the bottom of the deck, and this is the middle of the deck, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. There's no way I could have known where you would have cut. So what I want you to do is take a look at the card, the top card, and I'll give you a pen and paper as well. So you write it down. Look, I'll look away. Just look at the top card. Show the camera. Right. Well, back then they didn't have a camera. But. I don't know if I can show them. All right, now take that card and put that in the middle of that packet somewhere. The one that I just picked. Yes, and then pick it up and shuffle it in your hand. An overhand shuffle would be fine. And when you're done, place it back down. Meanwhile, Harry's looking on, okay. trying to figure this that out. That one's done. Okay, now, I could know a couple cards from the top of the deck. I just picked one card, right? You're going to pick one more card. Oh. One more card from, from this part of the deck. Oh. But to be fair, I want you to shuffle these cards. Mm -hmm. Shuffle them up, okay? Shuffle them first. How many times? As much as you want. Then place them back down. Okay. And look at the very top card. And show the camera. And write that one down. Okay. Now, the one pile, let's square that up. So take that pile and shuffle that as well. So every pile has been shuffled. I leave that card I just picked on the yeah, top, Yeah, leave, right? leave it on the top. We're going to shuffle those cards and place those cards on top. Okay. And take those, place those on top of that. Right, and all you do is you gave the deck a cut. Now your card can be anywhere. Cards can right. be anywhere in this deck. I will try to proceed and find your cards. Best, look, best looked amazed at this point. Like, how's he going to do this? Look amazed. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Let's see. Let me pull three cards out. Wondering which ones. Should keep. So I keep this one. Put the rest of the cards in there. And one last flourish. Give the deck a little shuffle. Now, would you please tell me the first card that you looked at? Seven of spades. And he turns over the seven of spades. Oh, how about that? 
And what was the second card you had? Nine of diamonds. And to her astonishment, and to mine, the nine of diamonds. How about that? How about that? I hope everyone enjoyed this card trick. How about that? The one that fooled Bess and got Harry wondering how he did it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, everyone, cheers. Uh -huh.